Mandy here. I'm a vintage home decor reseller and today I have a haul video for you. So usually I take you shopping with me first and then we go through everything when I bring it back home. But today I just have the haul portion of the video for you because things moved really fast. So this is actually part two of an estate sale haul. So if you haven't watched like part one, stop what you're doing right now. I'll link on the screen, go watch that and then come back for this video. So yeah, I cannot believe the stuff I scored. Um, this estate sale was absolutely epic. Not only was the stuff that was inside that home just amazing, the prices were incredible. So between the two hauls, um, and all the stuff that I got, it was just a little over a hundred dollars in how much I spent, which is just incredible because I got so many original art pieces, um, just a lot of amazing pottery, just, just stuff that normally would have been a lot more money, even in an estate sale. So I just like, especially day one of an estate sale, I, my mind was just like blown. So I had to split it into two parts because it was just too much stuff. Otherwise it would have been like an hour long haul video, which would maybe some of you want that. I don't know. So we're going to just jump right into the stuff. So yeah, very eclectic mix. Some of the stuff I'm going to keep per usual. Um, and then a lot of the stuff I'm going to sell in my Etsy shop. Okay. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you are the embroidered pieces. So there was a lot of embroidery in cruels, um, in this particular, um, sale. I mean, they had a whole display of it. Um, there was a big, huge, like closet devoted to it. So a lot of really neat pieces. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is this really, really cute lion. I mean, it's like so textural. Look at that. And it's in this like really nice wood frame. I'm going to keep this one because I just, I love animal stuff, especially like animals like this. I love an animal print. It's just very much me. I may actually like reframe this. I may take it out and put it in a blonde frame or try and strip this uh, frame to make it look a little bit more natural. That definitely goes a little bit with more uh, my modern decor, but I thought this was absolutely lovely. Another one I'm going to keep. And when you see it, you're like, of course you're going to do keep it is this really lovely needle point. I mean, look at these colors. I was so silly. Like I kept eyeing it when I was at the sale. And then I didn't grab it because frankly, there was just so much stuff that I was just like overwhelmed. And my husband happened to be with me. And then he's like, you're really not going to grab that one. You're really not going to grab that one. And I'm like, you're right. I, lo I love it. So <laughs> this I'm going to keep to another, um, another instance of where I may like change out the frame to something a little bit more natural because this dark wood is just not typically what I would use with my decor, like I said, but this is from Miss Margaret Doyle. Um, in apartment 205 in Chicago. I love when the person who made it put a little sticker on the back. It's just so special. So yeah, this one I'm going to be keeping too. And then the other one I'm going to be keeping is this one. Now, if you are interested in embroidery and stuff like this, I do have some listed in my Etsy shop. It's the stuff that I showcased in the other haul video. Um, so don't worry, I did not just keep all of them. There's actually have several that I'm going to be listing um, that are going to be for sale. So this one, I just thought it was so pretty for a kitchen. I just, I mean, look at like the different details. I mean, it's just incredible. I mean, people are so talented doing this. Some of this stuff is just so intricate. I'm just amazed by the talent. So yeah, but this one was very cool too. Okay, so we're going to move on to some of the brass pieces. So there's a few brass items there, not as much as I would have thought considering the home has so many mid-century pieces, uh, but I was really excited by the stuff that I did get uh, because it seemed like everyone else was so focused on like the pottery <laughs> that they like left these behind. So first thing is this pedestal bowl. It has this really lovely detail on the outside. Now I did actually shine up the brass pieces that you'll see um, today because I was so excited about them and I want to get them listed for this video. So I had, so I did all my brass shining up already. So a lot of times they're like really dirty, but I thought this was beautiful brass stuff like this, especially things like this, um, that you can put fruit in and style. These sell really well for me. Can't wait to get this listed. So this will be available in my Etsy shop and something like I've been debating on whether or not to sell, um, is this very cool Monstera leaf. Now I need to kind of figure it out because, um, I didn't realize that Monstera leaves were so popular. I mean, they're so hot right now, like millennials and like Gen Z have lost their mind over this. I mean, it's been a thing for a while now. Um, but I didn't realize that that trend was based on a trend back in the, you know, back in the, 
and maybe the 70s. So anyways, there's some info here that I need to like look up a little bit more um, because yeah, it just has a lot. It says like copyright, Monstera. I don't know, but I just thought it was very, very cool, the leaf. Um, it's very, very weighty. So yeah, I fell in love with this. Also has, it almost looks like it has like a copyright symbol right there. It's very weird. I gotta do a little more research on this, but this will be available on my Etsy shop. It's gonna kill me because I love it. But I have so many trinket dishes, you know, I just can't keep them all. Okay, so moving on to more brass. So this I thought was so, oh. Something that my kiddo put in. So of course, anytime I bring anything into this house, she's like, what is that? He's usually pretty good. He's not a kid that's very like rough and tumble, um, but I still get a little nervous. Uh, but of course, anything like this that opens and closes, very tempting. So he put his little like magnetic block in there. So this is just a turtle trinket box. Already shined this little guy up. I thought he was really, really pretty. Um, and of course, I love that you can stash, you know, whatever you want in there, um, jewelry, other stuff, whatever you, whatever you think. But he's just a fun sculptural piece, especially on a surface, on a shelf. It's just a very, very cute talking point. So yeah, this will be available in my Etsy shop. When I saw him, I just had to grab him because he was so adorable. And then some brass candlesticks that I picked up that I'm actually really excited about. I want to keep these because. They're just so, so sturdy and solid. And they're also meant for the slim style, slim style of candle. If you can, there we go. Um, so yeah, it's this pair here. Shine these up. I mean, look at how beautiful they are. So they have this like hexagon shape and this lovely, lovely swirly here. It just, I just think they're so pretty. And the fact that they fit a slim is really, really nice. It's very rare that I find candlesticks that fit a slim um, in a pair like this. Usually it's like a one-off. So um, I like slims, especially when you mix them with tapers because, um, you know, it's just really, it's nice to have different thicknesses of candles when you have a candle collection. And so that's why these were such a cool find. Also, I mean, look at the, uh, if I can, let me see. Oh. <laughs> look at the edge here. You can see how it has like that etching. I mean, there's just a lot of detail, a lot of detail. So yeah, I thought these were awesome. So I grabbed these uh, when I saw them. So I was really excited about them. So moving on to some pottery pieces. So the first thing is I was like determined to unearth all the findings. So I went into one of the closets and behind a bunch of stuff was this very cool planter. I mean, look at all the detail. It's artist signed. On the bottom, I thought this was really stunning. Um, yeah, it has the built-in drain. It has one or a couple, two built-in, three built-in drainage holes. Um, so yeah, I thought this was beautiful. Very mid-century, very like, very textural. This will be available in Etsy shop, so I thought it was awesome. If you, the majority of the pottery from that sale I showed in the last video, so if you haven't watched it, another reason to watch it. So another piece, this one was probably one of my very favorites from that. So I wanted to save it for this video. So I didn't do it the, all the pottery in the last one was this jug here, mostly because look at it, it's like this little like ceramic stopper and this like older right here, piece of rope. So I thought that was just so cute and charming. Um, it's artist, has the artist stamp right there. So yeah, I thought it was really very cool, especially with this. Usually you see if they have a stopper, um, it's usually either a decorative stopper that matches this or it is a cork. I've never seen a little ball like this before. I just thought it was so cool. So anyways, this will be available in my Etsy shop. It's hard because I think it's so cute, but more pottery to show you. So my other really, like another one I really loved was this one. So I love the fact that it has this like beautiful sea green combined with these like very burnt orange tones. I thought the color palette was just so incredible and very, very interesting. So yeah, I fell in love with this, grabbed the sucker up. The pottery was $2 a piece, which is just insane. That's actually what got me to the sale. I thought I was going there just for pottery and ended up with art and <laughs> embroidery and books and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, this was, I still cannot believe my luck in all the stuff that I found. Okay, so moving on, one last pottery piece, and then we're gonna move on to some more things. So I got this mug here. Um, it's not, I just thought it kind of reminded me of like tiger colors. I thought that it was very modern. I thought, I've never seen a glaze like this. Um, and then also it is artist sign on the bottom, 1960. So it's definitely a vintage piece. I thought it was just 
They're just very, very cool. So I had to pick it up. This will be available in my Etsy shop. Um, or I may do something locally um, just because, you know, like mugs. I mean, I don't know. It seems silly to ship sometimes um, because they don't sell for a lot. But something like this is very cool. So anyways, I grabbed this because I thought it was really interesting. And then I did pick up. <laughs> pick up this little silly thing. It's just, if I can get it, it's just this teeny tiny little brightly colored pig with a little coily tail. I just thought it was so cute. Um, I love little kitschy stuff like that, especially if they're in like hot colors. And this is definitely a hot color. So I thought it was adorable. I grabbed it. I may even be tempted to cut off the little string and just have them stand up because he's just so cute. So anyways, I won't be selling this guy because I just, it's just like, it's just too small to sell really, frankly. Uh, but, and I also really love it, especially how it has this little appliques on and look at that. Isn't he so cute? Anyway, so yes, moving on, because you're probably like, okay, Andy, enough with the little miniature pig you don't plan to sell. Okay, so something I will be selling is this vase. I think it might be Oregon Myrtle Wood. I mean, look at the tones on this especially like this part here. This shape is really lovely. If you were to feel this, it's just like, oh, it feels so soft and lovely. So yeah, this will be available in my Etsy shop. These wood vases are just so great styling moments. I mean, they just are really, really, it's a nice way to have a vase that's not like, you know, brass or pottery. It's just like a nice, another, adding another texture um, to your home that's outside of like the norm. So that's why I think wood vases are just one of those like very unexpected um, things to add to your decor. So totally love that. It will be available in my Etsy shop. Now something that I'm kind of torn with selling a little bit, it's not particularly special, but I did kind of fall in love with it is this basket here. I just, you know, it's, I just love the tones. Now I am an, a person who is like obsessed with wearing chapstick. I'm like, I'm always applying chapstick. And at night, I apply chapstick throughout the night. Anytime I go to the bathroom to get a drink of water, I put on some chapstick and I have my chapstick in a, like a ceramic bowl and it like does ting, ting every time I put it in. I'm sure my husband's like, oh my gosh, she's putting on, plastic, on chapstick again. So I may like swap it out so that way the chapstick can go into a soft basket and not make a noise. So I've been on the hunt for one that's like flat and um, you know, just like, just like the right shape. And I think this kind of fits the bill. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, so I may or may not sell this, um, but yeah, I was just like, you know, towards the end of that sale, I was just like, the prices were so good and I knew she was going to give me like a price for like all of it. So I was just like, I was just throwing in random stuff that I kind of liked. So this was one of the things. Another thing that was like random that I threw in was this wooden spoon. Now I need pieces like this um, for styling, um, for anything that I get for like a kitchen. And so this wooden spoon, it, I mean, it is just, I know a, a wooden spoon is not that exciting, but if you're a stylist like me and you know, you're putting together a vignette, you need just the right pieces. And this being so short is really, really a unique piece. And it has just the right amount of like patina to it. I mean, that's like, it's hard. It's really hard to find. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but yes, the, this guy I'm going to be keeping. I'm no, I'm no, most of you are not like, well, Andy, I want that so bad. I know you're not wanting that, but that spoon, I was pretty excited about that spoon. So we're, we're getting through it. We're getting through it. Okay. So two things that are very random. Um, in my last video, you will have seen that I picked up two carved alligators. Why? I don't know. They just spoke to me. So then when I went shopping at this estate sale, my husband's like, I found another carved alligator thinking probably that they're like some amazing and valuable thing, which I don't know. I don't know if they are, but anyways, he said, do you want this? And you know, knowing the pricing, it was probably going to be like a dollar. I said, okay, we'll just stick it in my pile. So anyways, I thought he was really, really cute too. He's very large. Like, like I said in my last video, I think these types of people pieces are very sculptural. I think in a neutral environment in particular, when you have a lot of whites and beiges and blacks, I think this is kind of like a fun piece, um, you know, to add that little bit of warmth and a, just a little different element. Um, you know, and of course this always looks good in something that has a little bit more of a global inspired interior or, or boho, but I think that you can, you don't have to think of something like that just for that type of aesthetic. You can think of it in this modern aesthetic, because I think that this would be uh, like a cool, unexpected uh, piece that would actually look really at home in it. 
So speaking of unexpected pieces, so I collect pine cones. Now I know you did not expect me to say that, um, but I do, uh, probably because my son loves them too. Uh, so I, I have anything from teeny tiny to big. And so I've been looking for like the biggest ones and this estate sale, I know is so dumb, had a huge one. I mean, look at how big this is. So this was like basically free because I'm sure they were just like, who would want that? It's very dusty, but I love huge pine cones. I'm intrigued by them. They're just insane. I mean, this is huge. Maybe this should be my thumbnail. People wouldn't click on the video. Anyways, I thought this was very cool. Um, had to get it. Okay, so moving on to the last pieces, which are the art pieces. So first I'm going to show you some of the frames that I picked up. I'm going to lean this against the tripod softly okay so i the person was an artist um they had a lot of art that they did and they also had a lot of art done by others and then they had a lot of frames that were empty so i grabbed a couple frames just because you know they're very expensive and valuable so i got this very cool gilt frame i thought it was lovely um nothing inside of it i plan to uh, make a little bit of a, like modern art and put to put inside of this because i love that that um that look where you have modern art in like very ornate frames. I think it's just like a really fun pairing. So I got that. I got this frame here. No idea what I'm going to do with it, but you know, I come across a lot more unframed art than framed art. So I figure, you know what? It was $2. These frames were $2 a piece. So I had to get it, especially since it has like this fabric matting in it. I just know, you know, I'll find a piece to put in this at some point. And then the last frame I got, was this one, which has this very cool gold edge here. And then it has like this fabric like matte here. So yeah, these were like, frames are freaking expensive. So see if you've ever framed anything professionally. So I just had to grab them because you just don't find them like that, especially with patina at all. Okay, so uh, we're down to the last two things. So I know that I've talked fast. This is going by really fast. I just, this is day sale fired me up so much. So anyways, you guys may have to have like a rest after this because I know I'm coming at you with a lot of hot energy. Um, so I got two um, like modern art pieces when I was there. They were very, very cheap. Now the first one um, is damaged in many ways, uh, but you know what? I'm gonna plan to use it for styling, so I don't care. So it's this piece here, which I thought was very cool. I loved the colors. You can kind of see on the back. Like here's a hole, here's a hole, here's a hole. Like so many holes, it's coming off of the framing. But you know what? I think that like I already like tried styling it up with a few things and it just, it literally looked amazing. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep this because I'm not sure there's a market for art with holes in it. Well, apparently there is because I bought it. But I thought it was just very cool. It's for styling purposes. It will definitely do the trick. You don't have to necessarily, you can, you know, I may just like tape the back up a little bit so it doesn't get any more damage. But yeah, I just thought it was very, very cool. And it was like, I think a dollar in the end. So I was just like, you know what? I will work with it. And then the other and last piece is this piece here. So this is very, very interesting and weird. The colors again, I thought were awesome. This one, I can't find an artist who I am not 100% sure, is this done? I don't know. I'm not sure if it's done. I think it's done. I just thought it was so cool. Originally styled it like this, but I don't know if it should, I think it can really go either way. The tones are awesome. Um, and I just, I just love weird abstract art like this. So this one, let me see, is it happening? No. Nope, it does not. I keep hoping it has like some sort of date on it. Anyway, so yeah, I thought this was very cool. This will also not, sorry, be for sale if this is like your thing. Although, like I've said before in my videos, if there's something that I'm planning to keep that really speaks to you and you think, oh, you know what? That's the piece I'm looking for. That's the piece I've been missing. Um, then, you know, just always send me a message and I might be persuaded in getting rid of it because I just have so much stuff, but yeah. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed all the things that I found. I still can't believe all the stuff that was packed into this house and the fact that there were so many of us thrifting this sale and I still managed to score all these amazing things. Um, and then also all the stuff I showed you in the previous video, it just like blows my mind. So, uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in thrifting content, vintage styling, 
you know, between my haul videos, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I do a lot of video um, showcasing some of the finds here. So yes, yeah, just a great like behind the scenes place to see like what my daily life looks like between the YouTube videos here. So yeah, I definitely, there's a lot of fun content up, up over there. So definitely check me out. So thanks again for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next thrifting and decorating video. Take care.